BBL licking. I have my BBL licking. I have my BBL licking. So what I do is I take a shower every morning and then I apply these. So I always have them near me. I'm gonna use whatever I have right now to you know get ready. Vault opening. Welcome to the vault. <laughs> Hello, what is up, you dazzling diamonds and the others? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda Kyle, and this is the vault. Anyway, you guys, let's jump straight into this video. Alrighty then you guys and in today's video we are going to be talking about Zayan Bougie. Well, a part of this video is not just about Zayan Bougie, it's about the girls that are doing these BBLs. Not so long ago I did a video about the stench that these BBL girls actually have. Someone came out to say, why is it that BBL girls smell funny they have a, a certain smell to them right and so it was a topic um up for discussion and people were saying it's because these are the girls that hook up with the guys for mavuso and such things so maybe they coochies are smelling really off i even said to you guys that these are the girls that would usually come out on their YouTube channels or platforms to tell you guys about feminine washes and all these things that they wash their vaginas with. And I said to you guys, don't use those products because your vagina, your vagina is self-cleaning. This is a fact. And God actually created it that way for it to clean itself. Women are always dripping and oozing. We are dripping and oozing, right? But if you smelling funny or it's in like a, a shocking smell, something that you're not familiar with, go get that shit checked out. What you don't have to do is now go buy these washes and try to fix the situation yourself. If the smell is overwhelming, go see your doctor or go to the clinic. It's free. Guys, one thing about me is I would encourage you to go to the clinic, the free one. Whether you get funny looks or you get attitudes from those nurses, at the end of the day, you're going to get assistance. If you don't have the money to go and go to a private doctor, just go and fix your vagina. Fix it. It's so important. Because women's vaginas are wet. They're always wet. It's not just during intercourse. Let's just face the facts. They really are. Well, not, not, not wet, wet. But like, you understand what I mean? <laughs> it's a vagina. You know exactly what I mean. You know exactly what I mean. Um, so I'm really against the feminine washes and stuff. So we were like, okay, maybe they smell funny because it's those type of girls. This lay queen, right? But now, now, oh, I did say in the video that I did about stinky BBL girls, Jorge, isn't it because of those BBLs and maybe the incisions and the places where... All that stuff was getting sucked out gets infected and you understand what i mean i mean it is not a natural thing guys to get holes in your body to extract fat and there must be something wrong going on there because it cannot be a majority of bbl girls that smell and there's not a problem there's a problem i'm against bbls i'm against the feminine washes your body knows exactly what to do. God didn't make a mistake when he was creating you. It is you that makes a mistake when you want to go and get all these cosmetic procedures. It is you that makes a mistake. It is you that makes a mistake. Oh, your pH level is imbalanced. Let me get a wash. For what? For what? When that thing self-cleans, it is oozing and dripping for a reason. It's cleaning itself. That's why there's such things as panty liners for in between your periods. Just use that shit, man. And if you don't like your natural smell, get the scented panty liners then. That's kind of cute, isn't it? It is. But you and your partner must get used to a woman's smell. And in a corner, 
I, it's, it's not the men that have a problem with how women smell naturally. If it's not a, an infectious smell. If men don't have a problem with your natural scent. They actually love it. They are like animals. We are like animals. It's alluring to them. In the back of their mind. Without them even thinking about it. That's why men are usually attracted to women when they are on their period. You think to yourself, hmm, I don't smell too good down there because I'm on my period. But to them, it's a yummy thing. People need to understand biology. Like, it's so simple. You don't need to smell like mangoes and peaches and strawberries. You need to smell like how you smell. And that is what is alluring. If you're trying to get men, then, yeah, just know that. Facts. Type of situation. I hope that didn't gross anyone out. I mean, we adults. Come on. And if we're not, then you have something to learn. There you go. You're welcome. Right? Anyway, but now it is coming out that one of the BBL queens, Sayan Bushi, is leaking from her BBL situation. And it's so, it, it, guys, isn't it so ironic how just a week ago I was saying that her BBL is botched and it's falling apart. And then, lo and behold, she comes out on a TikTok video to say that she's leaking. Now, the way she put it, it sounded like she's been leaking for a while. And to my understanding, right, your BBR will drip and leak and ooze all that blood and fluid about... 72 hours after your procedure, that's a normal thing. It's drainage. It must drain the extra stuff, right? Like many other um, surgeries. But now, Zion Bougie has had this BBL for 10,000 years. Not literally, but you know what I mean. She's had this BBL for 10,000 years. This is a problem that she is leaking and oozing, right? I used to work in the health profession. I was a nurse and when I started off, they teach you how to take care of patients, right? Before you can graduate and do um, more things and more things, administer medication, injections and a whole variety of things, right? You have to start at the basics, basic nursing, bedside nursing, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so we had to learn how to take care of patients that are healing, right? And some of them would be laying in bed for weeks or months on end. And they would develop these things called bed sores, right? This is the reason, this is why, actually, nurses have to flip the patients, put them on chairs, or get them mobile so that they don't develop these bed sores. But in some cases, they do develop these bed sores because sometimes you try to move a patient and they don't want to be touched. Everything is just so sore. You try your best to accommodate them and make them feel comfortable. But it's it's a tricky situation, right? And then some of them do develop this thing called a bed sore. And then that thing, guys, it is so atrocious. It is so... It's a violent thing. Because your body, you are laying on it for, for so long. And in some cases, it's not even because you, you're laying on that part of your body for so long... It is because your immune system is so compromised that even just 12 hours of laying there, you can develop these sores, right? That thing is so violent, in my opinion, because the smell, I will never forget that smell. If anyone is working in medicine or health, whatever, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The smell of a bed sore is one smell that you will never, ever forget. It is like human flesh rotting, right? Because they get these lesions that are filled with pus and it's, 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 it's so angazi, man. That's it's grotesque, if you will, if you want to be really extravagant or dangerous about the situation. But that's how I viewed it when I was working at the hospital. It smells so bad. And it is, it is a smell that I will never, ever forget. You cannot wash your hands enough. Even though you were wearing gloves when you were administrating this care to these people, it's like you can't get it off. It's, wow, it's so pungent. It is so pungent. So when Sayan Bougie says that, she's oozing. 
months or 10,000 weeks later after her surgery, I know exactly what that smell is. I know what she smells like. It's bad. It's Londa. It's Londa. It's a vuti way. See she's It's hot, guys. It, yo, you can't describe that smell. And the moment you smell it, guys, you will remember it for life. And among my ears, a little pungalelo, that smell anyway. It's like, whoa. Something bad is really happening with this person. If they are not in hospital. You understand? If somebody was around me and they smelled like that, I would I would have to speak to them and say, all right, because lendo inugayo, the, the stench is coming from your body, this odor, I eat all right. Right? It's terrible. So when Zayan Buji is saying that, she, sm she, 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 <laughs> she smells, she's oozing. So long after she has had a surgery, I know for a fact it smells like a bed so It's long. I don't know if, not all pus smells bad. There is some pus that just has, it's kind of odorless. It has its own specific germy smell. But then there's some other pus that smells rotten. Yeah, no you understand what I mean? You'll be like, whew, that's deep. That's deep. That, that, that's the bad, that, that's the bed sore. Smell, but worse. But worse. Stofusimo 8. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. Stofusimo 9. <laughs> Jesus. Right? Usayan Buji, what she's going through now. In my opinion, and what I would say from the knowledge I have from being a nurse, is an infection. You cannot have a cosmetic surgery after so long and you are still oozing and dripping. I'm saying that for so long because she said that she does not live without her plasters, her waterproof plasters. So this is something that she's gotten used to and now she's taking care of. She's made a plan. To just cover it up. It is not everything that you can just band-aid and cover up. Sayan so Bougie, in my opinion, whether she wants to take this advice, if she does see this video, and to anyone else that is going through the same thing, you have to go to the doctor. You have a problem. A very serious fucking problem. You are still oozing after so long. And I bet you, like she said, she has to bath immediately in the morning. Yeah, no, got that thing. There's no way you can have this Londa because there was an incision made on her body for so long and it hasn't healed now. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. You have to go to the doctor. And from the TikToks and, and vlogs that we've seen of Sayan Bougie, it doesn't seem like, and I've said this in one of my videos, that she's actually really taking care of herself in the way that she should after surgery. Alcohol, the messy food, hooking up with random people. You know what? When you're in recovery, you're in recovery. You need to take that shit seriously. It's like we can all thank God that she's still here and only has this minor problem. But what she needs to do is stop putting band-aids on it. I don't know if she has actually gone to a doctor to consult about the situation because this is actually a serious problem. It, it really is. You cannot have an incision open that long and it's oozing past and you just put a band-aid over it. Band-aids don't cover that stench perfume. When you mix it with that stench, oh baby, I know, because Nikki, I used to bathe in perfume, hoping that I wouldn't smell the bed sores. You're still gonna smell them. It's like a, a human being rotting, right? It's Lorda, it's a Vutiwe, Stoffo Simonai, Montola. She needs to go to the doctor. They need to treat her with antibiotics. I'm not a fan of antibiotics, right? Um, but in, in a situation like that, you really do. And figure out a way for them to close those incisions. That stuff needs to drain. Another thing is that maybe she has built up a fluid because, let's face it, guys, I told you, her BBL didn't work. 
So I am bougie is still thick as fuck. It's okay to be thick. I, for one, I'm on a diet now, you know. I'm trying to lose my weight. But if you get that kind of surgery, you have to, you have to eat right. You have to work out. So it can drain sufficiently and efficiently. And so that you don't put on the weight again. I just feel like I am BBL. Uh, it's just a big fucking jumbly joke. You know what I mean? Because she looks like she's putting on the weight again. So now you're adding on more fat that you had removed. Obviously some shit is going to ooze and you've got those. Why are the incisions not closing? Like why not valet? Something. Okay. She needs to go to the doctor. Something's really wrong with her. For the fact that her blood is not even clotting enough for it to close. By that I mean, you know when you get hurt, you scab. Your body already knows what to do when it's injured. It knows what to do. It gets that brown, hard, crusty skin. Yes, Valela. Why is hers not doing that? Whether it's a big hole or a small hole, you cannot live your life. It's not, it's not practical for you to live your life wearing plasters after a major surgery. And you are oozing. That's so disgusting. It makes me wonder about when she put out, excuse me, that vlog where she was talking about she met that guy at the farmer's market and then he gave him a whistle the next day. What was that guy smiling that night? What is every other guy that is helping her with her life smelling? Is that bed so small, isn't it? Maybe these people are now paying in the morning to get her out of their places because, woo, you gotta get out of here. <laughs> Dead. Right? If anybody else is going through something similar, don't just sit there and think that the, the plaster is going to close that hole. If it's been this long, you have a problem. When I need infection, when I need pass, it's not just blood, it's pass. And that thing can be very, very dangerous. It will get septic and you will die. You will die. Because if you leave it for too long, eventually, as your body does know what to do to heal itself, it gets tired. It's like, I'm a, this is, doesn't make any sense. Why am I pulling you this thing? It also matters if you're drinking alcohol and all these other things. Alcohol is a poison to the body. It's going to affect your health. It's a very dangerous game to play. And we wouldn't want to hear bad news about Usai Anne months after her surgery. We actually do want people to do well and survive in life, you know. Contrary to what people might want to believe or think or how I feel about Usai Anne, I don't hate the girl. I've done multiple other videos saying or oh, encouraging her progression in life. I would really like to see that for her. So seeing this dripperization past bed so situation i was like wow sis that is so disgusting you can't put a band-aid over everything go to the doctor go back to the doctor oh, I was like, why, get the why is this thing not closing fix the situation before it gets bad really really bad she also mentioned in that thing that she's drinking too much there you go and she thinks maybe there's something that's affecting her psychologically or mentally that's another thing. When your body is imbalanced, you will start to feel that way. You could even get depression. Because it's like, Why? Something is not right. It will fuck with your mind too. There's a lot you guys need to know. right? Um, it's not just you, you go for surgery, you come out. You have to follow the rules. If you're going to put your life in danger... Or you're going to put yourself in those situations for those type of surgeries. You need to know everything about everything for you to heal. For you to heal completely. Leo, fuck my plaster. It's not going to work. And in a corner, think about the people around you. Think about what they're smelling. This is so disgusting. Oh, uh -uh. Some people really don't love themselves. Eh? They really don't. And in that same vlog, was it the same vlog or a different vlog, but closely posted to each other. She was speaking about how she's moving out. I wonder why she's moving out from her place. I hope she's going to find a new... She said she's going back home. I hope she'll find a new place and everything will be fine. But you see, the Movusa lifestyle, 
It's short-lived. Take it from this apparent alleged 40-year-old lady who's getting child for free. <laughs> it is that type of situation. But hey, no shade on this side of the world. We just really want to help people here on the vault, you know. Me and my dazzling diamonds. We only want the best for you guys out there. So, in closing, so I am bougie absolutely. And anybody else out there that is dripping and oozing pus and blood from the BBL situations, please go to the doctor and go get antibiotics. See if they have to stitch that thing up, they have to drain it. What's going on? An early infection, and that's grimy. And I'm sure it smells like bad bed sores. That's nasty. That's the worst smell I've ever smelled in my life. Right? And if you can, and you can, don't get a BBL. It's not worth it. Didn't I say that she's going to have to do multiple other um, surgeries? You see now? She said that she has to go for another surgery to fix this thing. It's a problem. It is a problem. If it's not a problem that your, your, your body got botched, you want to go fix it, you get liquorization situations. It's a problem all around. Just stay away from the BBLs. Diet. My advice would be do keto, do intermittent fasting, work out. Personally, I hate working out. I hate it with a passion. It's just so grimy to me. It's, it's a lot. And it hurts. It really does. The next day, especially when you're starting, it hurts so much. So I prefer to do keto and intermittent fasting. You can lose weight. As for the ones that want big butts, guys, having a big butt is not, it's not the most glorious thing in the world. It's a, it's a glorious thing because men want you. But do you really want to be wanted by so many men? Ah, man, get yourself together. Yo, uh-uh. Love the body that you are in. Otherwise, you're going to be oozing pus and blood. And when it's long, it's not pale, it's not poly, like Usai and Bougie. And that is stinky, and that is grimy. And I don't want that for you. Right? Anyway, if you guys haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Baby! Baby, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>